Hello everyone and welcome to another Friday business intelligence tip. Today we're going to talk about a, a small little topic, but it's one that we use at, when troubleshooting uh, connections quite often. Um, and that's related to OLEDB connection strings. So whether or not you're setting up a reporting server and want to connect to a data source, or maybe connecting something in Excel to a another data source, oftentimes you use OLEDB as a connection, and very similar to ODBC uh, in that regards as well. And so um, what we find is sometimes there's issues on people's machines and connecting to it. It'll work on one, but not on another. So how do you troubleshoot that and uh, find that information? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump on over to my other screen here and uh, show you what I use. So there's a quick little item you can use inside Windows that's built right into it. And that is if you right click on the machine you're having troubles with or just want to know what the connection string is and create a new file, we'll do a new text document and you give it whatever name you want. I'm gonna call this one webinar. And then for the extension, and this is the key, it's .udl. So webinar.udl, and the key is really that UDL. So what is a UDL? UDL is a universal data link file. And you'll notice when I changed that text document to a UDL, what it did was it created this little um, icon that's there. If you double click that, What's going to happen is it's going to prompt you for the information needed to connect. The key thing being this first screen here, or this first tab on this dialog for the provider. You can select a provider. You can do next. It walks you through a wizard to connect to a particular data source. So I'll just put in my laptop here and switch it to Windows authentication. I can pick a database that's running on there. I'll just randomly pick one here. I can test it. So you can use this as a way to test connecting to a, to a machine. Now, if that works, you can go ahead and say OK on that, and it'll save it within here. Now, the real key to this, as I mentioned at the beginning, is getting what that connection string is so you can use it. Now that I prove that I can connect to that source and that connection string works, if I right click on this file and I just open it up with like Notepad or some other text editor, it shows me the file with the connection string that's there. You then can copy and paste that into whatever tool you're using that needs a connection string. So if you have a report writer or some other tool, maybe you're writing a program and need to know a connection string, those UDL files give you a way to give you a dialog to create one and then look at this text behind it uh, to see what that connection string is. So that's really all that I had for today. I just wanted to show you that if you, if you do get stuck on finding a connection string, do it through the dialog that way and take a look. Oftentimes the problem is related to this provider, where if we deliver something, maybe on a different machine, it has a different version of that provider or something there, and usually it's that. But this tool here will give you what you need for that. Hopefully you found uh, this helpful, and uh, what we're gonna be doing is uh, next week we'll do another tip. Um, like always, if you do have any suggestions at all, feel free to send them the, to info at dashboardgear.com because we look forward to giving you the information you want uh, on these. So thanks for attending and we'll talk to you again next week.